Welcome to Tech Development with Jerome Gratney in the IT department at Mercer University. Photoshop actions allow you to make repetitive actions to your photos, including single photos as well as multiple photos that are in a folder. For example, we want to minimize the size of this picture along with all of our pictures to either put onto a website or send in an email. What we're going to do first is go to the Windows drop down menu and select Action. This will open the Actions panel, allowing us to create new actions. To create a new action, we must first go to the Create New Action button, click on Create New Action. We're going to call this Resize to Fit. We're just going to call this Resize to Fit. Click Record. And when we click Record, we'll notice that the red Record button is highlighted. Now let's edit the photo. Let's go to the Image drop-down menu and select Image Size. We're going to make sure that we have Constrained Proportions selected, so that way when we change the width, it will also change the height. We are now going to give this a dimension of 300 pixels in width. You will also notice that it did change our height. The reason that that changed the height as well as the width is because we had our Constrained Proportions checkbox selected. We're going to now go ahead and click OK. And you will see that the action has taken place and we need to now close our file. It will ask us to save it. We're going to click Yes, we want to save it. And we're now going to stop the action. Now when we apply this to another photo, it will go through each step. So let's go ahead and open one single photo. I'm going to open this photo here, and we'll open that with Photoshop. And let's just now go ahead and select Fit to Size and click the Play button. Once we click the Play button, you'll see automatically that it did all of our actions. It even closed that photo. And when we open this photo again in the preview window, we'll notice that it is in a, a size of 300 pixels wide. What we want to do now is apply that same action to our whole folder at the same time. To do this, we're going to use a program called Bridge. Bridge is an application of Adobe that allows you to access files within the Adobe suite. What we're going to do is we're going to use Adobe Bridge to apply our action to all of our pictures within a folder. So we're going to go to the Tools drop-down menu and select Photoshop. Under Photoshop you will see that there are several other selections and we're going to choose Batch. This opens a dialog box and allows us to choose the action that we created within Photoshop. We will then create get our source which is a folder. We're going to choose the folder and this is what we've selected on the desktop here. We're going to choose the folder of pics. Now we're going to go ahead and click OK. Once we do that we see that automatically all the pictures have been changed in a batch action. Now let's check to see if all pictures within the folder have the same action applied. So we're going to choose each of these pictures and you will notice that right away we have the width of 300. It automatically saved them and closed them. So that's how you can use actions within Photoshop. Good luck and I hope that this tutorial has allowed you to understand how to use actions and apply them effectively using Photoshop.